that there will be light and there was light. So let me apologize. Uh, my battery went low and um, so my video was incomplete and I do want to just continue. Um, so I'm going to make a note of it so and to make it be clear that you could watch the first part or vice versa on these um, presentations. Okay, so we are talking about Mother Eve and how Mother Eve um, shows up in the um, zodiac signs um, and not only the zodiac sign but taken from the template, the sacrifice template that we have been um, using for over a year um, where Mother Eve really explains that the mouth um is and the the mouth and the tongue and all what the mouth consists in essence is really one and the same as um as the um dimensions the eighth and the fifth dimension is really representing hair in the mouth okay so we see the symbol of that right here so in the mouth here we have the figure eight and of course this is the sacrifice template if you're new to this channel i urge that you watch my um video on understanding an introduction to crime a queen yes an introduction to crime a queen's um youtube channel 2018 okay and that will um, give you an insight about um, this channel and what we are doing here. Okay, so it's on numerology. So we um, the mouth equals five. And um, when Mother Eve ate of the fruit, the word eat or et um, equals eight, as it will for God as well. Okay, so we know that Mother Eve is God, the, the God, the waters that was spoken of in Genesis of chapter 1, verse 2. The waters, we hear, always hear water is life. The word life, I believe, also equals five. Let's just do, just to ensure I've got it right. So this is five, six, nine, three. So this is 23, of course. 23 2 plus 3 is 5 like we have on here so the lion here um which we are talking about this is what we want to complete in this we have been talking about uranus entering the zodiac sign of taurus which is um taurus equals 10 and we also have uh, been um, mentioned of course, Uranus is 22 when we do the numerical values. And of course, Uranus and um, Taurus together is that makes it five. So we have seen how five is life. It's like the two coming together is bringing a newness of life to the, to the surface. Well, perhaps to the depth of um, not just the surface. I'm going to um, rephrase that. It's it's bringing a new lease of life from the depth of on the core of our being. If I remember the word core as well, C O R E, I believe it's also five. So here we have we we've done core right here. So this is again it's twenty three. So. We see the core. So basically, like um, Emmett Fox would say, nothing comes into your consciousness unless it finds something like itself on which to attach itself to. So we can see that everything that's coming together, like in the back here where I've got 20, the number 23, everything seemed to be um, anchored on this 23 or the number five and that is really speaking volume to us we think about just the five senses but when we look deeper we can see that five has much more to um to um consider um just we have the five um, fingers that we are constantly using but we don't pay much attention to those things um oh, i just thought i saw something on my lip okay um so basically we have um it's the glow 
we have um, five toes um, to each um, foot and five fingers, five senses. We have the five oceans and five um, circles on our face um, or two nostrils or eyes and our mouth. Um, but we are concentrating here more on the mouth aspect that tells us this is where the words flow. This is where our saliva flows, our words flow, our speech flows, um, our, um, our tongue um, flows. And this is why when it doesn't flow, we say we get tongue tie um, and, and so on. Um, so the mouth is really a very much symbolic of the, the construct of Mother Eve or the makeup of Mother Eve in this sense. Um, we can taste her, we can, we speak her, we breathe her. Um, this is the things we um, done. We speak through our mouths, we taste and eat through our mouths, we breathe and we kiss. And so all these, um, of course, wonderful things that we do with our mouths and we speak um, through our mouths as well. So I'm glad I knew there was something else, um, one other thing. Okay, now back to um, really saying that, uh, looking at the number five, so, and the, and the correlations are when things get together. So we see that the month of May um, equals three, and we can see that three is also going to be mirrored between um, August and May. So we are talking about May and then there's June, July, August. So that's three months. So basically um, what is happening there, three, as I have always said, that three is always, it's that W always seeking for partnership. It's busy looking for, um, this is why they say three is a crowd because it has to find more like itself on which to attach itself to. And so it's going to find the next three months, so the month of May, which is um, which also with the three forms the eight petal flowers. It's going to find the the next three months. It's going to find Leo, um, the um, which is the month of August. Now, if I remember clearly, the month of August equals eight. If I remember well, because there's so many synchronicities or correlations happening here. So Leo, when we do the numerical value for Leo, um, it equals, this would be um, 11, 12, 13, 14. This would be 14. So 14 is 5. And then we do, for the symbol of Leo is the lion, which equals 23. Again, we are talking about number five right there. So five plus five, we could say is 10. Now that as well is mirroring Taurus to perfection because Taurus is 10. So we can see that it's like, um, so there's gonna be May and August, A-U-G. And it's as if there is a link. The link is going back and forth between the two. And of course, what's between the two is the three, the number three. The number three is that which forms the, um, someone singing, which is nice. It uh, um, forms the eight petal flower. So it's M, it's three it's E and it's W. So that's what we are talking about. And again, the eight petal flower is representing the month of August, which is eight. And so this, this means for me, I have something to look forward to, to the month of August for some reason. And as well, um, the number eight is my life path number. So there is, there are so many synchronicities happening here. It's like I'm playing out my life here, right here on YouTube. It's very amazing. Okay, so let's see what August is, just to ensure that I have this correct. Um, 
which is 137312. When we add these figures together, this is um, 10, I do this, 13, 16, 17. 1 plus 7 is 8. Right here. Okay, so there we can see how, um, <laughs> I'm almost tempted to say, it might have been in the month of um, August that Mother Eve ate of the fruit of good and evil. Because here we are talking about the month of August, and um, which consists of eight, um, sorry, six letters, and it also has two, this is really amazing, it has two U's. This is what we are saying. Who plans this thing? Of course, the high intelligence is that uh, that I cannot begin to fathom. Because I just did on um, the first part to this um, presentation has Uranus, which has two U's, and Taurus, which has two U's. And I don't think there is any other zodiac sign um, or month, sorry, month with two U's in there at all. And all of these synchronicities happening here. And there we have the two fives, which Leo, Leo is um, the, the uh, eighth, the zodiac sign, which is five, which, fi which is five. So we are looking at basically August is the eighth month and it has the zodiac sign of Leo which is number five so basically Mother Eve right here this is the mouth which is number five and the eight is right here so this is very symbolic um, and very significant I would say so could we conclude that Mother Eve had really ate of the fruit of good and evil in the month of would it be May or the month of August well they are one and the same we have seen how May is actually the num the fifth month we can see their the relationship there and um, of course the the act of eating or et or having et of the fruit is that equals eight so we can see that there is a real strong correlation of um, events happening here. And Uranus, as I say, adding Uranus and Taurus together, that equals five as well. And both, uh, I've got to do this, I've got to do this and show you. So Taurus, T A U. R U S, which also consists of six letters, and Uranus, Uranus, which also consists of six letters, and August, A U G U S T, is also of six letters. And each of these that I have not just picked, but happen to be those that we are discussing here in these presentations because these are the months that really um that that really um come to the full in in that Taurus um is the second house the second zodiac sign um or of the of the zodiac sign sorry so it's the second house and Uranus is going to enter this and we see that. What is very important for us to pay attention here, and I'm hoping I can get this in. When Mother Eve had let of the um, contracts, we, I use the word contracts. Um, there's the bow constrictor, which is a, a snake. So there's the word con, although it has this um, adverse element, we could say, but we are talking about the snake and the serpent. When Mother Eve, because everything has to begin at ground level anyway, and the snake is on the ground. So when Mother Eve let out the contract, 
to the other gods to the fourteen gods of whether it was thirteen but meaning with mother eve becomes fifteen or either thirteen or fourteen but it's fourteen gods we know about fourteen gods and mother eve let the uh, i'm just hoping this um uh, <laughs> i've got to get this in so we have the two when mother eve said let us make man in our image after our likeness that is where this is the cycle mother eve is preparing us for now for when we get into this cycle of uranus into um the second house the second zodiac sign and um may on 15th of may this is what we need to be mindful of we are moving into that new creation we could say we are moving into that new era where our mother eve is saying let us make man in our image and after our likeness and the word us is also in the month of august so we have three um us right here united states if you want to say and us actually is four so u s is three plus one this is 31 three plus one is four and if we add this together we would have 12 and there we were talking about 12 months of the year 12 hours of the day 12 and so on and but more so all of this ties in perfectly with the numerical value for the word may for the month of may which is 12 and of course when we add this together it gives us three one plus two is three three becomes this is what mother eve wants to get us to see ourselves now be that beautiful eight platter flower this is it so there we are this is what mother eve is calling us to do i hope you get this because this is really beautiful and basically we see how all these um tie in very well together that uranus entering the house of may of um <laughs> of taurus we see how the w's are there so, and we also there's another point to um, really state here we did notice that there are three um that there are um two u's in each of these there were, there were two u's two u's in taurus two u's in uranus and two u's in august now i have been talking about that w and i also have been talking about that we are the experiment of six um six women and there we see the w's are being so this is really showing the evidence we could say of that which mother eve had told us that we are the experiment of six women and you, we could see that in uranus have two taurus have two and the month of august have two so there is uranus is 22 so that's four and and we could see how four came out has been playing out as the cross you could say or the four elements and so on and um taurus of course is um equals 10 you could see that 10 is where and it's an earth sign this is 10 this is the darkness and the light came out of the darkness so 10 is heaven 10 is hell 10 is um mirror 10 is um oh there are so many tens the darkness um they will i have a list of tens that i was trying to remember but 10 is that which is balance and that is why taurus and if you are taurus watching this and to know your makeup is that you are um, your of purpose is to balance things out there is the thing about the leo and sun and sagittarius with balancing things out no the earth is that we are there neutralizing the elements as well to balance the earth 
Okay, um, that's my, my take on this. But I'm very, um, it's very fascinating to see that, um, at which I'm going to end on, on that as well, that we had this um, use. The, so we had six U's, although the, the petal, of course, six U's, that is not um, including Mother Eve, which is the W right there, or um, however you want to put it, but there were six U's in there, meaning that we have the W on either side. Okay. Um, I hope you have enjoyed this. I certainly have. Let there be light, and there was light. And spill over with love.